This example will show how PLS CAD Lite can be used to calculate clearances between phases. We'll start in PLS CAD and choose a file, New, PLS CAD Lite. We'll call the project sub role.loa. And we'll pop open with a wizard here. And we can choose um, our particular criteria file. In this case, I'll choose a 2002 NESC medium condition. Uh, we'll choose attachment XYZ coordinates instead of using any structures. Uh, we'll choose XYZ coordinates for the span ends. And we'll finally choose to enter the horizontal tension. So let's click OK. Opens up the wizard. Everything is set up. Instead of using the default eight conductors, let's just clear out the last seven. And we'll just start with our first phase. And we'll call it phase A. And we'll leave it with the Drake conductor. And we'll start at 10 foot to the right of center on an A-frame. Uh, then we'll go uh, 50 feet in the air. And we'll project it out 100 feet to a vertical transmission structure at 50 feet at the end. One bundle, we'll use a ruling span of 100 feet. We'll sag it in with the initial ruling span method at 60 degrees, and we'll leave it at 1,000 pounds. And finally, we'll want to show this at our maximum operating temperature, and we'll want to show it after creep. So let's copy that phase to make our phase B and phase C. We'll copy that, and we can fill in the second two rows. Sliding back over to the left, we do a phase B and a phase C, just for records. And instead of attaching at 10 foot to the right, we'll go to the center of our A-frame, and then we'll go to negative 10 on the left-hand side of our A-frame. And on our phase B, we'll go up 60 feet, and on our phase C, we'll go up 70 feet. So we end up with a horizontal A-frame, 10 foot phase facing, going to a vertical transmission structure with 10 foot phase facing. We'll click OK, and we can see in our profile view the wires, and in our 3D view what those look like. We can rotate that around. So we can see how that roll would look like. And now to calculate the clearances, all we need to do is go to Sections, Wire Clearances. And we can say, let's go from Phase A after the maximum operating condition, after Crete. And we'll go to Phase B, maximum operating temperature, after Crete. And we'll say we need a required 7.5 feet of clearance between the phases. If you remember, at the substation, we have 10-foot phase spacing. And at the vertical transmission pole, we have 10-foot phase spacing. So we'll click OK. We have 9.62 feet of clearance at approximately station 97.96 of our 100-foot span. Everything's fine. So we don't have any clearance violations. And that's great. Let's do one more example here. Let's go to line setup. And instead of stringing this in at 1,000 pounds, let's reduce that to 500. So we had a slack span. We have 500 pounds. We click OK. Now we can instantaneously see the new sags of the wires. And now let's do a section uh, clearances. And we'll go from phase A to phase B again, maximum operating, 7.5 feet. Now we have a clearance problem. 7.07 .07 feet is all we have at station 50.24. We close out that. We can graphically see where that clearance violation is. While we're at it, let's just go to section wire clearances. And let's go from phase B. The phase C, again, with seven half the uh, minimum required clearances. We also have a violation of 6.99 feet there. So we can quickly get wire clearances uh, for rolls uh, using PLS CAD Lite. The same function is available in a full PLS CAD and can be done very easily.